Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we're gonna to be installing an intake system on our Tau Tau scooter. A lot of you have been saying, hey man, you shouldn't run that cone filter. It's kind of a hunk of junk. We totally agree. It just came with the carburetor that we installed on this thing. So finding another one or just getting to the point where we bought the new one that we're about to install just took some time. So we're gonna install this new one. We're also gonna rejet the carb because I think it's just gonna be that much of an increase in airflow. Um, we're gonna need to rejet. So we have a jet kit and an intake system that we think is gonna be pretty cool for today's video. This is what your stock carburetor is gonna look like. The one in the scooter right now is identical to this. It just has a slightly bigger jet. The stock size in these, I believe, is a size 74 jet. Um, and what's in the scooter is a size 75. So uh, the reason it's bigger is because the kit came with one of these pods filters and that means it introduced more air into the system so when you introduce more air you need to introduce more fuel the kit that we're going to be installing today uh, for the intake is this uni filter so these are really popular um, you've probably seen them on Amazon they're like 25 bucks but really solid choice along with that we have this nibby intake pipe and we're gonna be installing this as well uh, so this goes on to the carburetor like so and then the air filter on this end it comes with a reducer and some hose clamps. We're gonna have a link for all of this stuff in the description so you guys can check it out and buy it if you guys are interested. Along with these things, we're gonna be putting in a bigger jet. Now this pack of jets uh, was on Amazon for like 10 or $11, I think. I'm not gonna show you guys how to install this stuff because it's super simple um, other than rejetting. But if I were you, I would go check out another video of some like rolling wrench or the scooter swap shop. They probably have a couple good videos on how to rejet. Go ahead and watch those, but we're gonna go over to the scooter and we're gonna install this stuff. I actually pulled out the wrong carburetor out of our spare parts box. This is for a 150 GY6, so it is too big. This is the carburetor out of our actual 50cc scooter here. So this is what it looks like. Uh, it's a lot smaller. The filter would fit fine, um, but as you can see, it is really the wrong size. It's about Two millimeters too big. So this doesn't fit, obviously. I'm gonna do something a little better. We have a 3D printer and I'm gonna take advantage of that. All we need is like literally a one and a half millimeter ring the size of this, of the edge of the carburetor to fit around there. And then I think if I can slip it on and snug it up, I think it'll fit. We're gonna wait on this and we're gonna toss the filter on. We're gonna keep the jet that's in there and we're gonna see how it runs with that. Um, and then if we need to rejet, we'll add a bigger one. I don't know um, how much of a difference it'll be, but we should be able to tell right away. Another thing we're gonna do actually right now while we're working on this scooter and we got it kind of torn apart, in our last video we did clutch springs and for whatever reason, we only tested two of the options of like running the scooter with the clutch springs. We tested it with all of them and then we tested it with just the big spring. So we didn't actually test it with the factory or the stock big spring and the little ones. We we're gonna try putting these in because that's what somebody suggested in the comments. Yeah, I didn't even think about it when I was doing it. So this is an option and we're gonna toss these in and see what happens. So it's gonna be a couple things that are gonna change the performance potentially. We're gonna start putting this stuff back together. Um, we're gonna skip the pipe for today until I can 3D print a ring for it. Now, unfortunately, I realize that a lot of you don't have a 3D printer or all of you or most of you to make that thing, but we have the luxury of a 3D printer and we're gonna do it. So we're gonna toss the carburetor back in with the, with the jet that's in it right now. We're not gonna change it and then we are ready to start it now we got everything put back in okay well it runs so that's cool Thank you. 
41 miles an hour top speed. I knew the scooter could do it. It's done it before. That was a definite increase in top speed and acceleration. So the acceleration is probably from the springs. It's running pretty good with that air filter. I didn't actually have to tune it too much. Yeah, I literally just like turned uh, the air fuel mixture screw out like an eighth turn. Now it runs pretty dang good. But 41 miles per hour, holy smokes. I did have to do some massive speed tucking and it was slightly downhill, but still 41 miles an hour. So you guys saw it, there it was, 41 miles an hour. I've done 41 on this thing before, like last summer, right when we put that new carburetor on. With those clutch springs, the acceleration is great and I could tell going uphill I wasn't losing as much speed. I'm really glad we decided to actually do that and not forget that that was an option. I'm happy with it. Uh, it runs good, the throttle response is nice. Like I said, we are gonna be adding this intake pipe, but I'm gonna have to 3D print that collar that I need to put in there. And here we are again actually with that 3D printed piece for the intake tube. It fits really good. Just got here with it and it fits really good and nice and like it's not snug. It's in there good though. Like it just sits in there really nice. I'm thinking that's going to do the trick and we're going to be able to put this in. So I ended up designing two of these things. Um, the first one here is really thin and kind of flimsy. It was only two walls thick. So it was supposed to be like a millimeter and a half thick or something like that and it's just a little too thin for my printer to handle and fill the void in between the two layers. I ended up making it another millimeter and a half thicker. I don't know if any performance changes are going to be made here with this intake tube. I don't think it's going to give it any more power obviously. We're just changing the distance of where the air filter is to the carburetor so I don't know if that's going to make too much of a difference but I do believe it's going to sound different. It's going to sound probably more throaty. I don't know that'd be my guess. I'm gonna go ahead and install this stuff and we're going to see how it sounds. We got it installed. It looks pretty sweet. Um, yeah, it looks really good actually. I really dig this. So that 3D printed collar is right here. So yeah, let's see what it sounds like. Sounds good. I guess we won't know until we ride it if it sounds a little more throaty or if we have some kind of power increase for some reason, but um, that's, uh, that's what we got. I just got back to my house, um, so the scooter is running a little weird. I think I'm going to need to rejet with this pipe. Um, oh, sh**. My filter's gone. That's why I'm having issues. I lost the filter somewhere. <laughs> somewhere on the road I lost the filter. Great. That's, that's awesome. I can't believe I lost the filter. That's stupid. All right. Um, well, I'm going to take my car and go find the filter. But on the way, crazy enough, just riding around on the like, back roads in the middle of Minnesota, a kid rolls up on a scooter, on a 250 Sun L scooter. Uh, Derek, I think his name was. Cool kid. Uh, <laughs> he's like, dude, I think I've subscribed to you. And I'm like, what? No way. That's crazy. But sure enough, he was subscribed. So Derek, next time I see you, I'm gonna have some stickers for you. That was cool, it was nice to meet you. Um, also, killer scooter, way faster than the Tau. I'm gonna go find my filter <laughs> before somebody picks it up and figures out that it's really nice. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to modify how that sits in there because it just, it definitely doesn't like any of that. So, like always guys, thank you for watching. We appreciate you and we'll see you next time. Oh, before I forget, there's one last thing we gotta do to this scooter. We got that filter, we better put the sticker on. Where should we put it? Boom! Smack dab in the middle, probably not. That's not a good place for it. Also guys, look at the clear coat on my scooter. It's coming off. I don't know what happened. Look at it. This side is totally fine, right? But then there's this side. It's awful. I must have used some kind of product that the scooter clear coat does not agree with. Boom! Look at that. Nice. It's basically a race scooter now. I, I...